streaming on Mixer, and then uploading it to YouTube on a weekday morning. Today's a momentous day for me. After two years with no hormones whatsoever coursing through my body, I begin my hormone replacement therapy. And we're going on the big T. I'm going to grow a beard. And my voice is going to get masculine. Oh, you know, I'm looking at this tool and I'm thinking, I have to go around and start killing animals and getting the XP up. Is it just me or do things look slightly different today? It's just that fencing doesn't look normal. I don't know why. Let's go find out if I can figure out why. Oh, look, we've got some jungle saplings to pick up and plant. Now, this tree won't grow until there's four of them. So I'll have to come back. But I'm just running over here to get a better... What the... Get rid of that. That's annoying. You can go there. I want to know... I really got to put some stairs on here. If, that's, if the textures have changed. I know there's a texture update coming. I'm wondering if it's arrived. No, I don't think so. I don't think that's the case. Now, what's going on in here? I think I just need to go around killing squid for a while with my shovel. I don't like it when it gets... when the the health bar gets this low. I don't know what this is all about. Huh. Alright, let's go swimming and look for squid. I wish they gave you XP when you kill fish. I think it's really unfortunate that they don't. There's a squid. Duck up for breath. Boof! Missed. Missed twice! Then they swim well away, and you have to chase them. There we go. Two hits and it's done. And more squid ink for more black concrete, because remember, we're building this castle with black concrete. The pink castle was actually a little easier. For one thing, I had a ton of bone meal for the pink part, and then I just had to grow beets. I got the red from the beets and uh, the bone meal. I was lucky enough to find um, a fossil. Fossil bones are a great way to get enough bone meal. But we're not doing gray and we're not doing pink and we're not doing cyan or light green. So we're doing black and now all we need for that is these guys. Which is frankly why. I mean, that's how it all started. I was like, you know, I have to use up all of this ink that I've got. I've got a ton of ink. So let's use it up. And uh, I'm going to be getting a ton more ink because, of course, I'm constantly killing more squid because for the XP. So, says I to myself, let's make a castle that's black. Well, if I'm going to make a black castle, then I'm going to have to go with this whole... You know, that sets the theme. Oh, great. I don't have to rise to the top anymore. <coughs> Did I lose my ink? There it is. And underwater is a nice place to muck about when it's raining anyway. I always felt that, that was the best time to go swimming was in the rain. The lifeguards never agreed. They're like, now yeah, lightning might strike the pool. I still wonder if that's ever actually happened. Has lightning ever struck anybody while they were swimming? I wonder. We're going back down. Oh, he's going straight down. Now he's dead. <laughs> uh, 
I think every human being must have a little sadist inside. Some a murderer or something. Whee! Those bubble columns are such a trip. There's one. I'm the shark. Sharks eat squids, so. I'm glad these aren't like real squids. They're real people. I won't eat calamari. Because squids are intelligent people. Today, I am reading, they passed a bill in the United States that actually literally makes it illegal to keep dolphins and whales in captivity. They can't breed them. They can't hold them captive. I assume there's going to be some kind of allowances for, for situations where they have to treat an animal and keep him captive for a short time for his own well-being. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. We got... We got a turtle stuck. Hmm. The turtle's not stuck anymore. You see that? Yeah. Pretty good trick, huh? Yeah. Give me another squid. Oh, 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 oh. I don't have to remember to fill my water bucket. There we go. And here's the thing. You can... When the squids do that thing that they do... Um, if you've got a bottle on hand... You can actually grab this ink out of the water while it's here. You can actually fill a bottle with squid ink. I'm not sure what that's good for. Maybe you could put it in a cauldron and dye leather? I don't think you can use it to dye concrete. I'm not really sure what you can use it for. Potions? Yeah, so dolphins and whales can no longer be held captive in the United States. I have no idea how that relates to Canada and Canada's laws. It's cactus green. But I think Canada quit keeping whales and dolphins in captivity quite a long time ago. I'm not sure though. I mean, there, there might still... No... Hmm. Pretty sure that's just an American law, though, so we'll have to petition our lawmakers to do the same. But Canada generally tends to copy the states when it comes to legal stuff. They're like, oh, well, if the states is doing it, then we'll do it. Or if the states isn't doing it, then we won't do it. Whales in Canada. Let's see what we get. Whale watching. Whale watching. Whale watching. Let's put the word captive. Google's doing a Halloween thing. Captive whales. Canadian marine parks. Kiska. Only one orca, Kiska, is still held in Canada. Ah, because we've had quite a few, um, we've had quite a few marine parks, as they like to call them. They call them marine parks, you know. And I've been to them. I've seen the trained, trained whales performing something no one will see anymore. People will not see that anymore, where they, you go to a giant aquarium and a whale who's been... Swimming around and around in circles to the point that his fins gotten turned gotten flopped over Obediently performs on cue for pieces of fish That is not going to be seen anymore I'm not saying I regret it. I'm thinking about it It's um Hmm It's good. It's weird it's sad for the children. It's happy for the whales. Don't you think whales care? 
Well, elephants and whales, we have determined, and dolphins. Dolphins fit under the whale umbrella. And in fact, an elephant is kind of a land whale. They're very closely related. They have extremely strong social connections to each other. They will readopt each other years later. They have the memory of who's who and who's in my family. They keep track of family ties and family connections. They have language and communication that we have not yet figured out. We've been able to determine that there's a lot more communication going on than we understand. But we don't understand what they're saying. But, so, you know, we don't know. You know, are these animals actually capable of understanding things that we value? I don't know. Wow, an insect just buzzed past my face. I wonder what it was. And why? Why did an insect just buzz me? It seemed like a moth. I don't know. The flies come in in, in autumn, you know, they they will actually deliberately f fly in with you when you come in. So it might just be a fly that came in for the winter. Uh, we'll have to hit it with the fly swatter at some point. Just because it gets in here doesn't mean we're going to let it stay. Look at all this kale. Wow. I do like the way that looks. Uh, we're shovel hitting squid. Oh my goodness. I'm beginning to get a little bored with shovel hitting squid. Oh look, there's some. Let's go to land and look for something else. The squids are clearly done. Oh, we got another... We've got another... Turtle rescue. There we go. Turtle has been rescued. Nighttime, rain. That's not much of a beach, is it? Look at how it just drops off. La 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 la. This is where I, I mined a lot of sand. To make glass? I don't even remember anymore. But I mined out all the sand. It must have been for glass. I've, I've used a lot of glass in this world. Oh, I never remembered it. I didn't realize I'd made that cool spiral on that building for decoration. The stairs. Or that nifty chimney on top. Huh. Is that the top of the construction office? Yeah, it is. The one with the birch. Isn't that a trippy looking building? And what's going on with the birch planks in the middle there? Oh, that's part of the decor. Huh. I haven't been up in that building for months. Months, I tell you. Let's go to the upper floors of this building. Where I have not been for quite some time. Yeah, I never go up here. Neither do my um, villagers. So that's that one window, and then the next floor up has got those... Oh, look, we've even got some nice little patterns in the floor. Wow. Look at all this quartz I didn't realize I'd used. Oh, we can hit the bed. Oh, good one. Um, okay, that's better. <laughs> There we go. So this is the wall that has that funky design on the outside. Yeah, there it is. And it's all nether quartz stairs. Huh. It's a little glowstone. And an upper floor. Okay, and the chimney is not visible from in here. There isn't any indicate that there is even a need for a chimney. I probably should do something about that, and that's really stupid. What's with the hat lap? Eh, it works. It's white. Hmm. And the controller goes. Okay, the controller went down. The controller likes to do. I've had some complaints about my microphone cutting in and out. Mm -mm. 
interesting. Looking for interesting stuff. Nah. Let's go back to looking for mobs to kill. Oh, look, there's one now. Bling. Oh, and check furnaces. Any furnaces in here? Yes, there's one here. Yeah. There was stuff in it. Um, where else are there furnaces? There's nothing in this little one-story building. And the villagers never make it up this end of town. I don't know why. For some reason, this end of town has never been used by the villagers. This was my fancy little mansion. You know, the mayor's house, I think, is what I was thinking of it in my mind. The mayor lived here. This is where the mayor lives. It's all fancy. Fancy, fancy, fancy. Oh, and then the church. This is cute. The church is as far up the road as the villagers have ever gone. And they promptly got themselves stuck in the cauldrons. Oh. This guy's gone. Huh. huh? And you? Huh. You haven't ever even been leveled up. I don't think I get XP from killing villagers. So we'll leave them alone. It's awfully quiet here today. There's an iron golem. That's the library. We've got the library here. With a few books. And some random nonsense. Okay. This is the library. It's not very interesting. This building is just a, just a little residence. It's had villagers in it. They seem to like the really little ones. It's like the gardening needs a little attention. I don't have the tool with me. Where are all my villagers? This is the tavern. It comes with a really nice aquarium. It actually has a few tropical fish in it. Isn't that nice? I actually brought back some tropical fish for this aquarium. Now, do we have a bunch of villagers stuck up here? They like to come up here and get stuck over there. And no, we don't have that problem. Ever since I put this water here, it seems to have solved the problem. Are they up here? It's so quiet around here. I wonder if my villagers have been dying. Getting killed off. I could have sworn there were more of them than this. Oh well, yeah, we're checking ovens. Yes! And we have black wool, but no coal. Hmm. I'm gonna move that somewhere where there's coal. So we've got some villagers here. Yeah, they're all over at this end of town, and there's just a few of them. I think... I have fewer villages these days. I think my villagers have been dying off. Well, there's a whole bunch of them here. Don't they look mysterious? Cleric. Same. These guys aren't interesting until you level them up. He seems to have been leveled up. And you? Nope. Oh, a few more. Yeah, okay. So they really like this building. These guys are still stuck. And nobody ever goes up more than one level. So, I do still think there are fewer villagers than there have been. Maybe not. Didn't find many animals on this around here, did I? Yeah, no, there's fewer villagers. I've seen a lot more than this. Oh, yeah. I've had... I wonder if they get diseases or something. What kills villagers? Oh, my heavens! 
This is one of the kinds of things that might be killing the villagers. Like, what's he even doing up there? You know? Hmm. Things don't merely despawn, I've learned in this game. Something kills them. They talk about despawning. Well, if I name tag it, it won't despawn. Well, no. You can name tag all the sheep you like, but a wolf is all it takes to make them despawn, and at that point, they're gone. And they're not despawned, they're killed. The wolf killed them. I have seen so many wolves standing over a dead sheep. And wolves will even kill your sheep through the fence. You actually have to have a double fence to protect your sheep from wolves. And I think something's killing the villagers. I think just natural hazards and then they're not breeding back again because I've stopped building and constructing. And I've stopped trading with them. So I think that's what's happening. But, you know, you don't need that many villagers. I just kind of had a feeling of success as a result of having so many villagers. Like, oh, look how successfully I'm doing this game. I've got all these villagers. And now with them dying, I feel less successful. I can't kill that pig. It's got a baby. Damn it. There's just not enough mobs around here. Oh, I heard a noise as of a chicken laying an egg. And I can kill the chicken. I heard it, but I don't know whence. i got to turn this volume up a little. There. No, I don't see any sign of a chicken. I don't see any kind of mob that I can kill for XP. Turtles don't give you XP either. They're just everywhere. Turtles and dolphins. The new mobs don't give you any XP. Oh, I love the way my new city's looking from this angle. Look at that. Oh, what a sight. What a amazing sight. I gotta look at it from over there. I gotta look at it from this from this jetty here. Oh, what a sight. You can see both developments at once. Look at that. It just looks like a civilized world now, doesn't it? Wow. Just wow. Look at that. All these buildings. <laughs> okay. I think I have to go squid hunting. I can't find any other mobs to kill. Plenty of squid in the ocean, though. And like I say, I've found a use for all these ink sacks. My turtle master helmet gives me extra time underwater. As does my respiration enchant on it. You can enchant a turtle helmet. Remember what a nuisance it was in the last world when I started fresh and I was so used to having my enchanted helmet and stuff and I couldn't stay underwater any length of time at all and I was used to staying underwater quite a long time. That frustrated me. But I fixed it pretty quick on. So many dolphins. I wonder why they decided not to give you XP for certain mobs. Is it just to encourage the idea that you're not there to kill mo kill them? Like, you know, you, c you shouldn't kill dolphins, so we're not going to give you a reward. I suspect that's why. But, given that it's a game and they count towards the mob limits, I think you should get XP for killing them. I do. But it's okay. I'm just annoyed at how long it takes to get my mending tools mended. Ah, 
I just love the way these buildings look. Oh man, that is so cool. So cool. Look at that. Cities look at each other from across the bay. Look at all these buildings. There's the rainbow. The rainbow manse. Yeah. That's the kind of house Joey Grassifa might live in. I think. <laughs> These guys, they get on the they get on the beach, you know. They can actually die if they're out there too long. Dolphins are a peculiar mob because they need both air and water. If you trap them underwater, they will die, and if you trap them out of the water, they will die. They have to get in and out of the water on a regular basis. What's going on here? Nothing. Okay. Let's go look for chickens around the other side of the rainbow manse. These pigs I can't kill. You don't get XP from killing babies, and I can't quite bring myself to orphan them. I really wanted this wall to get covered in ivy, but it hasn't been doing anything because I don't spend enough time at this end of the island. If the player's not there, nothing happens. Things don't grow. But it is a fine wall, don't you think? It's not a fine wall. It was a very steep area. Oh. Got anything? Ooh, we've got coal. Okay. <laughs> More coal. Let's pull it and put it in up here. Yep, coal and only coal. Okay. Here, chick, 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 chick. Here, chick, 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 chicken. Here, chicken. Chick, 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 chicken. Here, chick, 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 chicken. Moo. Look, it's a cow. I wonder if you get more XP for killing a cow. Oh, look, it's a cave. That's another way to get XP. Maybe I'll go caving. Except I don't think there's anything left under this island. Give me my XP. Let's look. Let's see if we can find some coal. Extremely unlikely. I'm pretty sure it's mined out. I'm wrong! Awesome. I can heal the pickaxe anyway. I mean, this doesn't help the shovel any. Although, if you stand far enough back um, that the XP takes a little bit of time to roll towards you, and you keep your pickaxe and your tool in need of XP close enough, you can switch to the, um, you know, if I keep my shovel and my pickaxe side by side, and let me show you. Stand back here. Uh, I need to move my tools. I need to move my tools. Okay, so, like this. Oh, crikey. I didn't get any XP at all. No XP. Ah, there you go. See, the XP can take a little while to get to you, giving you time to move your tool into position, because the pickaxe now doesn't need XP. Oh. We like that iron. Boy, the lag in this game right now is amazing. Um, I can't believe I am actually had leftover coal and iron in here. This is a very tapped-out mine. There's some more. And I need it for the I need it for the pickaxe right now. All right, here we go, and we're off. These caverns lead to other places. What the? That's wool. 
That's wool. For some freaking reason, I've got a column of wool down here. I must have been in a hurry to, I don't know. Yeah, I was building up and just using the nearest thing I had to hand. Uh, I had wool in my pocket, so I used it. That's funny. Wow, so mined out. So well mined. Let's go down, down, down. Not there. Yes! Okay. Like that. See what I did there? See that? That's how you do it. You go. And eventually you heal your shovel or your axe or whatever. Hmm. I think I'll just collect this XP. Like that. There we go. Oh, let's just head on down here. There's some. Yeah. See how it's stuck there? Yeah. Now, of course, the pickaxe isn't p picking up the XP. It's taking damage every time it closes the coal. Every time it oh, pulls the coal, it takes a bit of damage. So if it doesn't get the XP from the coal it mines, then it starts to falter. So it's actually better to get your XP from your furnaces, really. But uh, I have managed to heal my tools, all my tools this way, just by digging coal. And redstone is better. Diamonds are best. Lapis is pretty good, too. See that green? There you go. That little green bobble is what you're looking for. Gold! We found gold. We have torches. Let's put one in. This is actually a very successful mining trip, I must say. I'm not really sure what gold is for, though. Psychologically, feels like a wonderful thing. But realistically, it's not that useful in the game. Uh, I guess golden apples for regeneration when you're fighting mobs. Not much other use. Oh, and golden carrots for breeding horses. Alright. And now I have stuff to mine. Let's see if I... Let's stuff to... to oh, what do you call it? To smelt. Let's go see if I can find my way back out of here and up to an oven. Preferably that one that I loaded. I want to go up there. More coal. Okay.
Oh, wow. A lot more coal. Let's get on up here. Yeah, this stuff's too close by to be able to um, put it on the shovel, I'm afraid. But all of this smelting is going to make a huge difference. You get a lot of XP when you smelt. And now I've got gold and iron to smelt, so that's going to help a lot. Need your help, shovel. I know we're here to mend you, but sometimes you got to help us out. All right, now, oh, look, more coal. Much use is it? Hmm. So you stand as far back as you can, like that. That shovel's doing good, though. It is getting better. All right. And now my pickaxe needs more healing. Am I seeing coal somewhere here? No? The only thing I know is I'm supposed to go uppity up, up, up. Not down to de down, down, down. Yep, up, up, and down, 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 down. I wonder where I'll actually come out when I get out of here. Is this the way out? No, it's not. Is this the way out? Is that the way out? Hmm. It's somewhere. These caverns are so vast. Look, there's an opening. And it's not where I came in. <laughs> nope. This is the other end of the island. On the other side of the castle. See that? Look. Look at where I came out. Huh? Yeah. That's the only one I did that with the iron bars, but it looks so cool. Oh, that's because it's the one that opens off here, so I got a little extra fancy with it. Hmm. But we're going back around to that furnace I loaded, because I've got some XP to collect by now. I hope. I'm assuming that furnace has by now smelted that iron, and I can put some more coal and some gold and iron and... Yeah. Let's run. Try to run. It's hard to go fast when the game's going slow. Whee! Zoom, zoom. Yes, we're going to get there fast now. Yes, fast, fast. Fasty, fast. There it is. That's where we're headed. This is where we went in the underground. Any, uh... Any squids? Well, just a couple of you guys. Either one of you got any bones to offer me? That's one of the few ways I can get bones in this game. And I have found that the cod don't seem to ever let off bones, whereas the salmon do, so I just ignore the cod. Look, I got a bone! Excellent. Very good. Ah, there we are. Okay. I'm going to put it on the axe, because the axe is now the lowest. Oh, for crying out loud, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons on my controller. There we go. So, we've got 18 more iron. Here we've got... S well, the bottom one's the one that's got coal in it still, but we're going to put all this coal in. Well, let's... Let's turn a bunch of this coal into coal blocks. Well, considering I need black wool more than I need 
iron um, ink sacks okay uh, what's going on here Ooh, look more iron I've already got a full stack all right let's just dump some of this extra crap in here flint for instance I really don't have much use for flint stone I'm gonna need hang on to that Black wool, glass. When did I pick up glass? Ooh, my connect has broken. I'm sorry, that means there's no camera anymore. And I I have to reboot the whole system to fix it. So it's it's staying broken. Okay, let's get into let's get some more. Yeah. And again, excellent. Okay, back to mob hunting. Look, here's one now. Wink. There's not enough mobs spawning. Why? Do I need to go much farther away from home? Ha! I see one. He's dead. You chick 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 chicken. For a while I had a whole flock of chickens with like two adults and like a half a dozen babies that just wandered around over here in the wilderness. And the babies would split up between the adults periodically. So I couldn't even be like take one and leave the other one to look after the kids. I'm like, ah, oh, well, you're both adults with babies. I can't kill ya. And um, I guess the babies have finally all grown up. I'm killing them now. <laughs> this game. Never in a million years would I have imagined that I would someday be this person. Running around. I mean, I was a vegetarian at the age of 16. Because I didn't like killing animals. And I eat chicken now. I've had to... I had to adjust after... Oh, 10 or 15 years with no meat. I started to develop... Um, a nutritional deficiency because I wasn't I wasn't eating the right alternative foods I don't like beans or lentils um, and I don't like getting into the science of it all so I just that's not really the right way to put it I don't like getting into the math of it all so I found myself with a nutritional deficiency that was causing me serious issues uh, like disabling pain on a monthly basis and I added by adding chicken and fish back into the diet I was able to solve that problem so I still eat chicken and fish probably more than I should especially since if you go for a high protein diet you find yourself eating more than the assumed amount of assumed recommended amount of meat you know it's like in theory we could all get by on one meat meal a week but I don't know I don't think that diet is the reason we're all getting obese actually I mean it's obviously a factor but I don't think it's the cause I don't think that our poor diet is caused by an inability to resist so much as um, availability of foods and toxins in those foods. I think that uh, modern farming processes involve a lot of really toxic stuff. Hey, just for giggles, what happens if I strip all these logs? Oh, that's right. They have to... Um, they, I was thinking I was only stripping them on the back so then the front I could you know I could decide if I want to strip the front but no actually if I come around if I come around you'll see I don't know too late now I have to do them all now if 
like it or don't. There's really no reason to keep this up, though, actually. There's no reason whatsoever. It's no longer necessary to mark the island this way. This wood it would be so much more useful else how. As planks, as flooring, as, as construction material, this just... It's time to get rid of this particular piece of junk. It's, it's ugly. It's not nice pixel art like the mushroom. You know, and it served its purpose. The longest time it was how I could tell that I was home, but when I was out wandering with my Frostwalker boots. But now I've got so many other landmarks. It's just ridiculous. You can see the castle from over there. You can, you know, you can see lots of things. We'll get rid of this and have the wool for, or the, the wood for other things. And yeah, the, the mushrooms as well are really stand out from a distance. There's actually no reason for this to still be here. Just a sign that's at home because that could have been built to here and then a road plowed straight through to home. If I'd have only known, I would have saved myself so much work. I thought I my island was past this. I thought this was an island ahead of my island. I remember getting here and, and going, oh, at last I've, I've, I've hit some land. I can take a rest. And I actually explored this side of the island without realizing that I was home. I remember that night. I came out over here and went, huh. And I, I did a quick little exploration through here. No idea that I was actually home. And then continued to build on past this little piece of continent or whatever it was. For quite some distance, still unaware that I was home. Still at this point I was unaware, but now... It's bloody obvious. I'm, you know, I mean, well, for one thing, we've got the railway. That is a mighty big landmark. It's actually faster to swim now, since with the dolphin's grace, it's actually faster to swim around in the world than it is to run. Oh, that's a curious little lighting glitch. There, we'll fix that. If you see dark spots like that, that's a place where um, hostile mobs can spawn. So, What's that down there? Yeah, that light there. Anyway, so that is so obvious now. We don't need that stupid sign. Let's find out what's going on down here. Get a little breath. I want to go down there after. Oh, yes. That's interesting. Isn't that interesting? Oh, I know what I'm looking at. It's an abandoned mine. For reals, man. Well, how cool is that? I wonder if I'll get lost. Do you think I'll get lost? It looks like I've been here, though. It looks like maybe I've been in this mine. I just want to mark this water so I know it's the way back up and out. Ooh. Well, I might have been here, but... I didn't do much mining. Probably had full pockets when I last left here. For all I know, I might have mined my way up. Ah, coal for XP. Yes. Look at that, my pickaxe is healed. I'm not quick enough on the draw here. I'm not far enough back is part of the problem. There we go. 
All right, let's just clear it all up. Some interesting stuff over here. Mm -hmm. Like some gold, for instance. Gold. Uh oh. I actually have full pockets. Let's see. What do we get rid of? Um. Well, for starters, that helps. Um. I don't know, Mon. Ooh, now there's a great source of XP. Woohoo! And a place to put some junk that I might want later. <laughs> Stuff I don't need now. Oh, hello, Specific Knot. How do you do? I don't know if you can play. Is it something you do often? If you're asking if you can come into this world and play with me. Nope. Sorry. I don't bring strangers into my world. It seems to me like a great way to um, get griefed. So no, you can't. Sorry. We don't do that here. We don't invite strangers to come in and blow up our house. I mean, you might be a perfectly nice person. I don't know. But if you, were, if you were a perfectly nice person, I think you would realize that you'd have to make friends with me first. Earn my trust, as it were. That just saying, can I play, and coming in is, you know, let's see how foolish this person is. And we'll go in and we'll ruin their world. I don't want my world ruined. There's just too many kids out there who are only interested in upsetting other people. Uh, I, I don't know that. I mean, that's exactly what the griefers say. I'm sorry, man, but... If you ask a griefer, hey, are you going to come in my world and grief me? The first thing they're going to say is, no, of course not. I wouldn't do that. I mean, <laughs> it's like when you ask someone who's a liar, are you lying? They say, no, I'm not lying. You ask a thief, are you stealing? They say, no, I don't steal. You ask an honest person, I don't lie, I don't steal. You ask a dishonest person, I don't lie, I don't steal. They both have the same answer. The way to prove it is to, you know, friend me on Xbox, invite me into your world sometime, um, hang out with me when I play on Mixer, follow me, you know, get to know me, develop a relationship. Let me get to know you. Because I really want people to come in and play with me. This is a cool world, and I really want to share it. And if I find people to play with me, I will give them... Huge areas to settle and to build, and I will check out their constructions, and it will be fun. And I really want that. But I'm 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 just not foolish enough to trust that quickly. We uh, we got to swim back up and empty pockets here. That's cool. We've got an abandoned mine so close to home. That's exciting. I mean, it's like right here. Wow. I wonder if there's a way to build something up. If I had my Frostwalker boots with me, I could. Die, squid, die. I'm so mean to the squids. Always killing squids. Kill, kill, kill. Let's go home with our booty. I gotta dump off some of my buckets here. It's right there. It's like, it's right there. This abandoned mine. And it's hardly been mined at all. I gotta dump my pockets. I gotta get me some goodies. I've been here. I've almost been on for a whole hour, but I will stay if you're gonna stay and chat with me, specific knot. I will stretch out my time here. 
Let's see, we gotta put some gold. There's only one gold? That's not very impressive. Let's put some coal in the empty furnace and there. Now my now my pickaxe is happy. And we'll put some more iron in here. The redstone's useless. Uh, the wood can come with me too. Because I don't come here looking for stuff. In fact, let's get rid of all, let's pull out all the stuff I might come here looking for sometime. Hmm, not much. No. That's it. Now we'll head up. We'll head back, we'll head back to the main house and put away some, my, my pockets. Hmm, should I go this way? Should I go that way? I'll go that way. It's slightly more direct. <laughs> I haven't been in this house in months either. It's so red. Oh, red concrete. <laughs> oh, that's right. This house has an actual enchantment table and even some books and lapis. So you can enchant. See, specific not... You could... Just have one of these houses if you wanted to. If you were, you know, if we were friends and I could trust you. You could just, you could have a house. You could just pick a couple houses and set up. Um, and Or you could, you could travel down the highway. The, the highway which can be seen in the distance there. Over that away. And, and you could set up your own settlement somewhere else. You could, you could own that castle if you wanted to. So yeah, I really do want someone to come in and play with me. I think it'd be a blast. And we could talk on the, uh, on the Xbox thing. We could have tons of fun. I don't know if you're even there anymore. You're gone. Yeah. See, that's how I know he was a griefer. He didn't, you know, after I explained that to him and he said true... He left. In other words, he really was only interested in coming in and griefing me. He wasn't interested in building a friendship, a relationship, and becoming player, you know, playing the game together. And I have been at this for an hour, so I'm going to head back to the house and turn it off. And then um, next time I play, I'm going to be mining. I'm going to just leave the village that's been built. Because I think the Black Keep City is finished. No, there was one more building I want to raise up. That's right. But I'm, I'm kind of feeling a little burnt out on it. So I'm going to spend the next week just grinding in the mines and stuff. Healing my tools and what have you, you know. Why didn't I bring the rest of that ore home? I have to go back to the other side of the island to get it. Okay. What's going on in here? Nothing. Right, this is where I turn off the broadcast. See you later!